Hi everyone, welcome back to another tutorial and in today's tutorial, which is going to be a fairly long one, um, I want to show you how to make something out of this pattern. Now, lots of you asked me what is this pattern for and I said it was a secret. Well, I know back last year I was showing you guys I was going to make this. I absolutely hate it. I hate the colors. I hate the pattern. I don't like it. What I'm trying to show you how to make is this gorgeous little change purse. But I refuse to make it with these colors because I'm not enjoying it. Okay? It was way too many colors, too many beads on my bead board. So I wanted to make something a little simpler and this was what I came up with. Um, it also has only five colors in it. The other one had like, I don't know, 10 or more. And it was driving me crazy with all the different colors. So, I am going to teach you guys how to make this cute little purse. The only thing that's going to be different is um, we're going to not put these dangles on it. We're going to put um, a chain or a handle like. Um, they call these uh, amulet purses. They, the, you know, the... Um, ones you see online are amulets. Well, I wanted to make a change purse and have it monogrammed. And this is a fair size little change purse. And I'm going to teach you how to do this in a peyote. Um, up here, uh, i got to show you guys how to do this a little bit different because this is all done with one drop peyote. This pattern is two drop peyote. Okay, it's two beads at a time as opposed to one. Now to monogram it, it's going to be a little different because um, doing two drop, it's not going to work out like this. All right. So we're going to, I'm going to have to figure out a way how to just do uh, one drop up in here and then show you guys how to gradually um, taper off your ends. So that would be decreasing. This is uh, even count because it is uh, a flat peyote that we're doing and it starts with 62 beads. So I'm going to show you how to put a closure on it. I don't even know if I have any more like this. Uh, I'm not sure what kind of closure I'm going to use. I did like this one, how it closes. Okay. Probably should have used black thread, but I used white thread and have a little dangle hanging off. It's just a really, really pretty purse. Now I've got, I'm going to eventually, when we get to the fringe part, uh, I'm probably going to do a little different, some, you know, a little longer fringe than this. Uh, but this turned out really, really gorgeous and I'm quite happy with this. So I'm going to do something a little different. I really, really, truly do not like this pattern. Maybe some of you will. But it was driving me crazy and I just couldn't continue the tutorial. So I restarted it with a new pattern. Now, for two drop peyote, on a normal basis when you're reading a peyote flat stitch pattern, this is just flat peyote. You're going to read from one end, one side. You're going to start here and then you're going to go back. And then you're going to go back and forth in a zigzag. Well, I created this pattern. As you can see, down the middle of this pattern, everything on each side of this middle is identical. So whatever you do from the middle of this pattern on, on each side, is identical. So you don't have to read your pattern from right to left. Normally, you would on most patterns, but this one, you don't have to. And I create it that way just to simplify it for beginners and just make your life a whole lot easier doing it this way and only with five kinds of beads. Now, this may not seem like a lot of beads, but it does take a fair amount of Delicas. Okay, I'm using Delica beads. And in my other one here, I used main color was black. That's why this stands out so beautifully. Um, in this one here, my main color will be uh, silver lined. Okay, so that will be my main color. And in here for my name, I will probably do a, a nice light color of my purples here. Okay, 
So I don't want to get too far ahead. I just want to do one step at a time so you guys can create this from start to finish and not have any problems. Now for materials, you are going to need, I'm starting with two tubes of every color. Okay, these are five gram tubes. They say they're five grams, but I believe these ones are more like a nine gram. But anyway, I'm starting with five colors. So I've got three colors of a purple. Now, let me zoom out here a bit. My coffee cup's in the way. Ouch. Okay, so let me just get my camera straight here. Okay, so I have three colors of purple. I have a dark, a medium, and a light. I have a white, and I have a silver line crystal. This will be my main color. Now, in this pattern, you cannot see where I done the silver line and the white. For some reason, it looks exactly the same. But it, if you look, hold it up close, you'll see that the silver line is a light, light, light shade of gray. Okay, so that would be a silver line, silver line, silver line. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my green highlighter, okay, and I'm going to outline all, I'm going to just color it so I can see where my silver is. Okay, so I'm just going to go start like this, work my way around. Um, so it's here, here, and here, here, and here, 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 and here. So on the flip side, it's going to be the exact same over here. Here, here, and here. And here, 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 and here, and here, and here, and here. Okay? Now, I probably, I'm probably going to change a bit here and put some silver here, 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 here. Because I, I don't know, I just think it's too much white for me. So I'm going to add some silver in there. Um, in fact, I'm going to make all of these silver. So what I do over here on this one, I got to repeat it because this is just a repeatable pattern. Um, so you're going to do the same thing over here. You're going to do that with your whole pattern. Mark out the color so you can see that these ones here are silver lined. So again, I'm going to do um, the centers here. Uh, this one, this one, these three, and this one, this one, this one, and this one, and this one, and this one, and this one. So I want to make it all look exactly the same here. So I'm going to do all of this in silver lined. Uh, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, that one. For some reason, it didn't show up very well in the pattern. So this, I can, I can see it that it's a little bit darker than the uh, actual white that I used. It's a little bit grayish, but I want to outline it because when I'm doing the the pattern, I don't want to get all messed up and confused. So I know this is all white, so we've got some we've got some good silvers happening here. In fact, I think I'm gonna do this whole area. Oopsies, I didn't want to do that. Where it's supposed to be white here. And he whoops, I don't know. I'm not seeing this here. I'm really screwing this pattern up. Good thing for printers. All right, so. Okay, let me go fix this and I'll be right back. I made a mess. Okay, so I colored in everything I want silver because I had way too much white and then white would have ended up being almost like my main color. So I've only left a little bit of white. Oops, I've got one to color in. 
I want to make all of this area all silver. Okay. So you, oops, and I could see some other places I missed. Missed here, here, and here, and here, and here. All right. Now we're we're good. Okay, so this is all where I've got green is going to be my silver lined. So I've got three colors of purple. I have a light, a dark, and a medium, and white. All right. Now, my colors I'm using, and this is the one I started on. I messed it up, but I have a printer. I can just print some more out. <clears throat> so the colors I'm using are all kind of like really pretty purples, and I'm sure they're going to look stunning together. Absolutely love this color. Now, this color here I'm using is number 0241. So if you guys want to use the same colors I'm using, then it's 0241 for this purple. Uh, the white is 0200. Okay. The grapey color here is 2140. That's a very tiny 389 for a 5 gram tube. That is super small. I think that's a ripoff. Um, the silver line is 0041. So this is silver line. And I know this is more than 5 grams. And the price was $3.69, but that's the way she does her prices. Okay, and then we have this purple, and it is $2.49. Okay, so there's your five colors. Now you're going to need your pattern. I am using, <clears throat> I don't have a black marker, so I'm just going to use a black pen to scratch off my rows. All right, I'm not using the highlighter because I tried it, and scratching it off just confuses me too much like that so I'm going to do this now put my pattern there my pen there and get this out of my way it's hurting me now we're going to need six pound fire line I'm not using Nymo thread because I don't want my pattern to or my purse to break I'm using a size 10 beading needle I already have fire line on my beading needle ready to go now you're going to have to put on a stop bead so I'm going to use any stop bead I'm just going to use one silver one here okay and I'm just going to bring that down to the end and leave you know a fair amount of a tail just so I can weave all that in in the end and then I'm just going to run my needle through that stop bead two times so I can so the bead doesn't come loose okay pull this through and pull it down so I've left I don't know four inch enough to get a needle on and able to weave this end in in my purse in the end all right now to get started you're gonna pick up 62 I need to get all these beads out of my way here you need to pick up 62 of the white beads. Now in, in a peyote, when you're doing a flat peyote, you always start with picking up your very first two rows. So as you can see here, my first row and my second row, and you always count your rows on a diagonal. To start, you have to pick up your first two rows. So you're going to pick up two white, two white, two white, and you're just going to go back and forth like this on your pattern. Two white, two white, two white, two white, two white. So you're going to end up picking up 62 white beads to start. And that will be your first two rows. So you're going to scratch off this row all the way along. You can see this row and your second row all the way across. You're going to scratch off those two rows. And then the next row you're going to start is going to be your third row and it's going to start here. Okay? Or sorry. Yeah. It's going to start right here. So you scratch this one, this one, and just go one up and down, up and down, up and down, like that. Okay? 
Now I'm going to pick up 62 white beads, which you probably can't see on this bead mat. And I'm going to go off camera to do that because I'm pretty sure you don't need to see me pick up 62 beads. I'll be right. Okay. Oh my goodness. Hi, Peep Peeps. I have a baby birdie here. What you doing? Come on, sweetheart. He's climbing up my camera cord. Come on, baby. You can do it. Oh, goodness. Let me get him. Look at who came to visit with us. Hello, sweetheart. Hello, baby peeps. Oh, he's a goofy bird. Hey, did you come up to, to see the jewelry? Hey, baby, this is the one that Miku bit his beak off. Hey, hi, sweetheart. Come here. Come here. He's up on my shoulder. Come here, show the people how pretty you are. Hey, that pretty baby. Hey, he's a pretty peep peeps. Yes, you are. He just loves to be on my shoulder. Anyway, I have picked up my 62 beads right here on my, my, and I brought it right down to my stop beads, okay? Yep, they hear you. Tiki. Peep. Okay. Now, let's scratch off our pattern. So you guys, oops phone's ringing. One sec. <laughs> 